It's the anger that dismisses somebody and tries to destroy them, who never count them as human beings anymore. It's what we see in our cancel culture. As you know, I'm political. I'm to the right of Genghis Khan. And Jesus has been talking to me about Joe Biden, and it's irritating. And he's talking to you, some of you, about Donald Trump, and that's irritating too. And AOC and Newt Gingrich and all of them, they are created in the image of God. And we are never to cancel them. Yeah, but what about transgender people included? What about gays and lesbians included? What about other races included? What about other theological positions included? What, what about my mother-in-law <laughs> included? Not them, oh yes, included. Let me, uh, let me confess something to you. Um, a few years ago, my wife and I were having dinner with some friends in Miami. And when we finished dinner, uh, we left and were making our way back to where our cars were parked. And I was approached by a beggar, a homeless guy. And uh, he said, Mr., could you? And I said, no, I can't. Leave me alone. You're going to spend anything I give you on drugs or booze, and I'm not going to play a part of that, so just get out of my sight. We walked about a half a block, and it hit me, and I went, oh, man. I turned around and went back and found him. And I said, and I gave him everything I had. I'd emptied my pockets, every dollar. And I said, I don't care what you do with that. You can spend it on whatever you want, booze, or you can give it to the church if you want to. But I'm here to ask your forgiveness because I, I dismissed you. I demeaned you. And you're worth more than the money I gave to you. And I'm so very sorry. You're someone for whom Christ died. And that makes you valuable. It makes you precious. You know what he did? He started crying. And he said, Mister, thank you so much. So if you have the dismissal anger, the sarcastic anger that says, You fool and you dismiss people, stop. Go to Jesus and he'll help you. 